Well, hello, hello. This is Valdestot's voice, and I'm your host, Valdestot. First of all, I'd like to just wish you all a very Merry Christmas Eve and a Merry Christmas tomorrow. And uh, just wanted to state that it has been slow today with Grubhub. And I'm using my Santa voice as in slow, slow, slow. Merry Christmas, if you really call that merry. So, I have been online, off block until 5 p.m., mind you, but still, it's all it's 4 p.m. now. But off block, I've gotten four offers, two really low ball offers for the distance, and two decent ones, but further distance, with a decent payout. I have made $34 in six hours. You heard me, $34 in six hours. And the reason I'm making this video is, is at about 12.30 after my first delivery, I finished the delivery and waited 30 minutes more and no order. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna give Grubhub Driver Care a call. And I'm gonna ask them point blank, what's the volume looking like today how many drivers there were that were online, and should I go home? And you'd be shocked at the answer. The first answer was, is it's very slow, no volume, no orders at that time. And I asked, well, should I go home? I have a five o'clock block starting up, should I even bother? And their response was, go home. Don't even bother working the block. How slow is that? I mean, really, it must be really bad for Christmas Eve. So I ended up just saying, okay, fine, I'll go home. And I'll just like leave the app on, you know, at home. Was playing some, you know, uh, TV, watch, you know, and whatnot. And at about 2.30, I got a ping for an $18 order 15 miles away. And I said, oh, okay, well, it's money. 18 bucks is 18 bucks. So, yeah, I took that order along with the $11 order or, uh, earlier. But what's funny is, is I got a adjustment pay of $5.25. And I don't see why I got that. So, it became about $34. And again, 10.30 a.m. to... 4 o'clock p.m., $34. So if hopefully you guys and gals in other areas of the country are doing a lot better than I am on Grubhub. I still refuse to turn on my Uber Eats until I get full customer location information uh, because I don't have it out here in my market yet, if I'll get it at all. And I also found out yesterday through an email that I'm going to be getting the Grubhub card on in late January next year, January 2020. I don't have the email right handy, but I believe it's like Tuesday the 20 something, whatever that, I think maybe the 23rd. But yeah, I'm going to be getting the Grubhub card in my market soon. And guess what? I'm probably never going to take an order because I left DoorDash because of those stupid red card orders as well. They just add more time and for maybe two bucks more, three bucks more, if that, on top of the base normal pay amount that you would get offered, it's not worth it to order during lunch and dinner times, in my opinion, because during peak times, you really think they're going to answer their phones and want to take orders when they got a lot of people in-house? Probably not, no. So I'll activate the card. I fought it forever until now. And I said, you know what? If I get the card, I get the card. I won't fight it no more. I just won't take those offers. So anyway, Merry Christmas to everyone. If for those of you working like I am tomorrow, remember this. Even if you have block and can be on and, uh, and get the you know hourly contribution if you have it in your market, they can screw you by giving you a far off or low pay order 
Because any time that you reject an order, whether it's just one order, if you reject that any order, you lose the hourly guaranteed contribution for the whole day. For those that didn't know. So for those of you saying, yeah, I got five hours scheduled, I'll at least get $10 an hour or whatever you have in your market. Yeah, wait till they throw you an order that you won't want to take. And it could be 15 miles away for five bucks. Are you going to take that order to keep your contribution or are you going to not take it so that you won't have to waste time, gas, and miles? So throw me a comment. How are you doing today? Or if you're working tomorrow and if uh, you do get a contribution, would you be willing to take those ridiculous orders to keep it? This is Valdestot signing off. Hopefully everyone will just get their money and hopefully also have a great Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Until next time, this is Valdestot's Voice signing off.